Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen the call through function, right? So what is this call through? Whenever we are spying on a method, and if we uh, whenever we are spying on a method, okay. We are, so when we are spying on a method, the method will not execute. So the spying method will not execute. So whenever you spy on a method, it will not execute, it will not execute the real function, it will not return anything, so it will not go through that function. But the situation comes some sometimes whenever we, whenever we want to call the real function and also we need to spy on that function. So in that, in that scenario, so we will be using this call through function. Now we have learned about this call through. Now there will be in a such, there will be a such a situations that if uh, we, we don't want to execute the real functionality of that method, in turn, we want to execute the fake functionality. So what, what means we want to execute the user defined functionality. We don't want to execute the real method, but the logic what we have written in our test, we, not, we need to execute the fake logic. So in that scenario, so that scenario also we can use it using the method call call fake. I will try to show it. So this one is nothing but what I can say is example for call through, right? So this is a call through where call through executes the original functionality of the spy method. Now let's copy this one and paste it down here. Okay. It call it is calling the update result, but we are using the call fake. Okay. We are using the call fake functionality. Call fake, the name itself indicates that it will execute the fake logic. It will not execute the real logic. It will execute the fake logic. Now I want to fake this multiply. So the logic what we are having in the calculator.js. So this is the calculator method, right? Instead of executing this method, this logic, I will provide a fake logic so that we need to execute that logic. So for that scenario, what I can do is, so here I can write call fake, okay? Call fake. What is this call fake will do is, it will take one function as the parameter and whatever the logic you mention in this function, whenever the user calls this multiply in this test case, so this fake logic will execute in place of that one. So now let's assume that it returns, okay, it, it is returning, sorry, returns not return, fake call, I will write fake call. Now here we are calling multiply. So whenever we are calling this multiply, we have return a fake logic that is nothing but it should return fake call. Let's try to execute this one. So whenever I execute this one, here immediately we got an error that expected spy update result to have called been called with 27, but actually it calls was fake call. So we are expecting that it should, it should call, it should return 27, but it is returning fake call it is saying. So that means here the original multiply method is not getting executed. Instead of that original multiply method, we are executing this fake method. So now here, if I try to write fake call. So now if you try to execute the method here, see successfully this test case has been passed. So this is the scenario how we will be using this call fake methodology. Okay. So normally what we'll be using is, so we'll be using rare situations, this one. So normally we want to, if you want to execute the real functionality of that method means we'll be using this call through or otherwise if you want to do the, if you instead of executing the real functionality, if you want to execute the user defined fake functionality means you can use this call fake, but, uh, but so many scenarios we will be, but in all, uh, all, most of the scenarios we will be using this uh, very rare, but I want to explain you that this type of scenario also will exist in the Jasmine. So if you want to execute the fake logic means you can use this call fake method for this Payan method. Okay. For this Payan thing, we can use this one in the Jasmine. Hope you understood about this call fake and also the call through. So only one, one, one scenario you need to remember. Call through means it will call the real functionality method, multiply method. It will call the real multiply method. Whereas this call fake means it will execute the fake logic instead of the real method. Hope you understood about this call fake and call through. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.